This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Tune in as Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller leads the WJFW Weather Watch team to bring you the most up-to-the-minute weather data. Utilizing industry-leading technology, WJFW's award-winning weather team has you covered. Join the team during the broadcast on WJFW or streaming on Hulu Live, PlayStation View, and the NBC app. You're watching News Watch 12, news from where you live. Right now on Newswatch 12 Today, Wisconsin Department of Health Services confirmed three new cases of coronavirus here in Wisconsin. And President Trump addressed the nation over coronavirus fears. We'll have more. Plus. We see some rain and snow and some patchy fog this morning. What does the afternoon look like? Your full forecast is coming up. What are we going to do? I mean, these are real problems. And, and this is, you know, hours and days count now, not, not, not days and weeks. And as of Thursday morning, there are more than 117,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus worldwide. But that number isn't expected to slow down. It's Thursday, March 12th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning and thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Marissa Silvis alongside Angela Kim. We have a lot to get to this morning, but first we begin with President Trump addressing the nation on Wednesday night over coronavirus fears on the same day that the World Health Organization labeled it a pandemic. Among the major news out of that speech, the president banning travel to and from Europe for the next 30 days starting Friday night, except for the UK. The president also said he will soon take the action of providing emergency financial relief to workers who have to stay home while infected or caring for others who become infected with coronavirus. No word on how logistically that would work. And the president also stressing that while the threat to the general public remains low, the threat to the elderly is much higher. The highest risk is for elderly population with underlying health conditions. The elderly population must be very, very careful. In particular, we are strongly advising that nursing homes for the elderly suspend all medically unnecessary visits. Now, President Trump was also said to attend a Catholics for Trump rally in Milwaukee next week. But late last night, a campaign spokesperson announced that the White House has canceled that appearance along with campaign campaign style events in Colorado and Nevada over coronavirus concerns. At least for now, however, Vice President Mike Pence is scheduled to come to central Wisconsin next week. The VP announced on Wednesday he plans to attend a March 19th event in Rothschild in support of congressional hopeful Tom Tiffany. Pence's visit comes after he canceled a planned trip to La Crosse last week to lead the White House's executive branch's response to the coronavirus outbreak in Washington. Pence will also be on the Today Show later this morning to talk about the virus. Well, outdoors this morning, we still have some pretty mild temperatures, and yesterday was not a bad day at all. It really was not at all. I still walked outside, didn't have too many layers on compared to yeah. a month ago, and it really was pretty nice. Exactly. Uh, an interesting morning, though, out there, it sounds like. For more, let's head right on over to our weather center. And Devin Biggs in for Tyler Moore this morning. And Devin, it sounds like people may be having to deal with some fog on their way to work and school. Yeah, we're seeing a little bit of patchy fog in a few spots this morning, but we're going to be switching that over to some rain and a little bit of snowflakes before switching to all rain later on today. Today. Here's our latest look at the live radar right now. We're seeing some of that rain heading in our direction now, moving from southwest to northeast. Let's throw everything in that in motion. We're seeing a move to the east. We're going to start seeing that kind of overspread the region coming up later today. Live look in Monaco. You can see a little bit of the haze right above the building, so you can see there's a little bit of patchy fog out there today, as well as some low ceilings. Temperatures again, not bad this morning. 34 degrees at Rhinelander were above freezing. Many other areas also in the middle 30s. Your bus stop forecast coming up this morning. Again, cloudy and a few flurries with temperatures in the middle 30s. Temperatures warming up to around 41 degrees with rain through the afternoon hours, so the raincoats will be needed. Otherwise, throughout the rest of the morning, temperatures will slowly rise through the morning. You'll, you will need those raincoats, and we'll definitely give you, keep you posted on all that. Your full forecast is coming up.
And we have more coronavirus coverage, including how the Wisconsin Department of Health Services confirmed three new cases in, of coronavirus in Wisconsin Wednesday, and that was bringing the state's total to six. Now, none of them are in the Northwoods, and among the three new cases, one is in Waukesha County outside of Milwaukee. The other two are in Fond du Lac County. DHS says the patients were exposed while traveling either abroad or internationally. We know that none of the six have died, though we don't know the severity of their illnesses. And the Crandon School District says that they will be closed on Friday so they can deep clean and disinfect the school. School officials say no students or staff have any connection to coronavirus, but they're taking this step as a precaution. The district says in a Facebook post, quote, we will be using our Clorox 360 machine to help ionize the virus. This cleaning agent has been shown to be effective on coronavirus as well as other viruses and bacteria. The custodial staff will begin this process as soon as students and staff leave at noon today. Please continue to practice washing hands and staying home when you are sick so that we can help contain the spread of any and all illnesses. The coronavirus is also having a big effect on people, even if they're not infected. The University of Wisconsin Stevens Point and UW Madison have joined the list of colleges and universities temporarily ending face to face lessons. School officials say that starting next week after spring break, classes will take place online or through alternative means. Both schools describe the measure as proactive and preventive, adding right now there are no suspected cases on campus. Waters Meet Township school officials in the UP up from Land O'Lakes say their school will be closed today and Friday to allow them to sanitize the building due to illness. They have not said anything about coronavirus, and right now the Michigan Department of Health only confirms two cases in that state, and both are in the Lower Peninsula. But nonetheless, they are closed Thursday and Friday. All extracurricular activities are also canceled. The number of coronavirus cases is rising daily, and as that happens, many everyday life actions are going to be affected. John Lawrence has our report. President Trump in a coronavirus-based address Wednesday says an antiviral therapy will be available in record time. These treatments will significantly reduce the impact and reach of the virus. But in the meantime, be prepared for things like rough days on Wall Street, extensive cleanings of most surfaces, empty shelves in your grocery stores, and travel restrictions from the White House. You're going to see closing down of venues, schools, large gatherings, because you don't have an option. You're never going to bring the testing up to capacity in time. The NBA is suspending its season after at least one player tested positive for the disease. Fans attending the Oklahoma City Thunder Utah Jazz game were sent home shortly before tip-off. I want my fun back. It's like our fun's getting taken away. It's ridiculous. But other basketball fans, like this one in Atlanta, approve the league's decision. I think that by eliminating the, the big crowds is a, is a good move. Health officials say these steps are necessary to help prevent the coronavirus from spreading even faster. We're 100,000 ICU beds short. We're probably tens of thousands of breathing machines, ventilators short. What are we going to do? I mean, these are real problems, and, and this is, you know, hours and days count now, not, not, not days and weeks. I'm John Lawrence reporting. On Wednesday, House Democrats released a summary of their family's first coronavirus response act. And according to a statement, the bill provides paid leave, establishes free testing, protects public health workers, and provides important benefits to children and families. We'll certainly be talking a lot more about this all throughout our show. Mm -hmm. And coming up, we do have continuing coverage, including how President Trump has suspended most travel from Europe to the U.S., due to COVID-19. We'll have those details. Plus, two famous celebrities were tested positive for coronavirus in Australia. We'll have those stories and more news from around the world when we come back. Home's tax relief sale is going on now. When you spend $9.99, get an extra 7% off sale prices. This modern glass top table and four chairs, just $9.29 after tax relief savings. Plus, get 12 months interest-free financing and free shipping. Tax relief savings now at Home Furniture. 
Cons Trucks of Stevens Point is looking for experienced drivers. What I like about working for Cons Trucks is that you're doing something different every day. You get to meet different people, you get to haul different types of equipment, and it's just an enjoyable place to work. A quality workplace offering competitive pay. They have great benefits, health, 401k, paid vacation, disability insurance. Safety is their top priority. Contact Constructs today for exciting employment opportunities. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Scherr, DC with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today. Now at Home Sleep Express, get up to $300 in home merchandise when you purchase a Tempur-Pedic or iComfort mattress. Plus, no interest financing for four years and free delivery, setup, and a 120-day comfort guarantee. Tempur-Pedic and iComfort at Home Sleep Express. And welcome back. We're seeing plenty of clouds across the Northwoods this morning. We can see a, a pretty much good across parts of Rhineland under the city lights are reflecting off of the, of the clouds this morning and the clouds pretty much will be hanging around all day long. Temperatures right now are not half that bad at all. Temperatures right now at 35 degrees in Brian Leader, 34 degrees in Merrill, Wausau. You're also at 34 degrees. Visibility's out there this morning too. Again, they're, they're down a little bit. So we're seeing a little bit of fog developing this morning. A little bit of some low seedlings too at around five miles in Tomahawk and in Merrill. Again, a little bit lower with Mosinee at seven miles for that visibility. Temperatures over the next few days not going to look half that bad at all. 42 degrees before today, cooling down below average over the next few days though. Again, 33 degrees Friday, 32 Saturday, warming things back up to 41 by Monday and kind of a little bit of a small roller coaster ride that will be coming up soon. The winds will be picking up too. Here we go. Gale warnings across parts of Lake Superior and also for Lake Michigan too. 7 to 12 foot wave heights will be seen along Lake Superior starting tonight and into tomorrow as the winds will really get a little on the gusty side. Right now we are tracking some rain off to, towards the south and west and I was seeing some lightning with the rain to salt our south and west a while ago. Right now that has tapered off. But as we zoom things out a little bit, it's moving from west to east. You can see on our loop, you can see the, a little bit of that lightning earlier across parts of Minnesota. We're starting to transition a little bit towards spring with lightning getting a little bit closer. A little bit of a wider look. Things are getting a little busy. Again, cold front to the north. Another front frontal boundary here bringing all the uh, precipitation. Now neck of the woods and more systems al along to the south. A little bit of a busy pattern as more systems move off to the east. Here is your future cast coming up for today. Clouds will be the overall theme. And again, clouds uh, and the rain will be moving on in from then on out. And look at the ISO bars here moving from northwest to southeast. We will need to keep an eye on that. And again, here's your wind getting up to 30 mile per hour in gusts from time to time. Any chances of snow? Not very major. It's going to be very much to the north with a little bit more or less to the south. So your forecast coming up for today, 42 degrees, morning fog and rain likely. Winds out of the southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow or tonight, excuse me, 23 degrees. Some rain and snow early change into mostly cloudy skies and fog late. Here is a look at your Northwoods Furniture seven day forecast. Again, we have that rain likely today on as it will start off as rain and snow changing to all rain and a little bit of fog too. Friday and Saturday, some some clouds, highs in the lower 30s. Sunday, partly cloudy skies, highs in the mid 30s. Next chances for precipitation will be rain on Monday and Wednesday. Marissa and Angela. President Donald Trump has suspended most travel from Europe to the United States amid the coronavirus pandemic. This tops our international news this morning. The president made the announcement from the Oval Office on Wednesday night. Travel will be suspended for the next 30 days beginning Friday at midnight. Passengers from the UK and Americans who have been screened will be exempt from those restrictions. 
And Austria has implemented a travel ban for people coming from Italy Wednesday, with exceptions for those who can produce a medical certificate. Travelers only passing through Austria must confirm in writing that they will not stay in the country. For Austrians traveling back home, they must quarantine themselves at home for 14 days. Police are on hand to manage passport control and are also photographing passports to ensure the measures can be enforced. After announcing Tuesday that the border between the two countries would remain open, Switzerland has partially closed the border between the two countries. In total, nine border crossings were closed with an alternative crossing point provided for each. Oscar-winning actor Tom Hanks and his wife, actress Rita Wilson, have both tested positive for coronavirus in Australia. The actor made the announcement on Twitter Wednesday. He said, quote, to play things right as is needed in the world right now, we were tested for the coronavirus and were found to be positive. He added that he and Wilson would be tested, observed and isolated for as long as public health and safety requires. And coming up, we do have more news on the coronavirus, including how long we may have to wait until we see a vaccine for this virus. Plus, one teacher in Missouri's way of promoting some healthy hygiene in a classroom has now gone viral. We'll have those stories and more medical news in just two minutes. Look at what just $10 a month will get you when you spend $5.99. A classy bedroom set, all four pieces, only $10 a month. Five-year financing on purchases of just $5.99 or more. And get free shipping with no minimum, only at Slumberland Furniture. You have found your soulmate. Now it's time to find the perfect ring. At Golden Carrot Jewelers, you can choose from an extensive selection of engagement and wedding rings. Fresh designs reflecting the most current trends. From organic, art deco, and vintage design to timeless classics in white, yellow, and rose gold. See the new Romance Collection, Lyria and Lumiere Bridal Collections, and new styles from Gabriel New York, S. Kashi, and more. Engagements begin here. Will yours? Golden Carrot Jewelers, downtown Manaqua. Grow new ideas for your farm at the WPS Farm Show, March 31st through April 2nd at the EAA Grounds in Oshkosh. Why go to an RV show with only a single dealer when you can go to a show with eight? Don't miss the 10th Annual Central Wisconsin RV and Camping Show March 13th through the 15th at the Central Wisconsin Convention and Expo Center in Rothschild. RVs, campers, motorhomes, camping gear, much more. Bring the family and visit the Animal Haven Petting Zoo. Kids casting, yard games, and more. Plus, the kids get in free. Admissions only $10, and there's a $2 military discount. Show hours Friday, 3 to 8, 9 to 6 Saturday, 10 to 4 Sunday. Head to fishingboatingoutdoor.com for more information. Tell us we can't, and we'll prove you wrong. Knock us down, and we'll get right back up. Call us risk takers, misfits, bad boys. But we know what we want, and it feels like American muscle, looks like advanced engineering, and smells like fresh cut grass. Bad boy, mow with an attitude. So what's the empty suitcase for? The grand prize trophy. Confidence. Pass it on. I was born to be somebody. Look at what just $10 a month will get you when you spend $5.99. A classy bedroom set, all four pieces, only $10 a month. Five-year financing on purchases of just $5.99 or more. And get free shipping with no minimum, only at Slumberland Furniture. And welcome back. We are seeing some rain moving from west to east. We're going to be seeing that overspread in the region coming up over the next several hours. Thanks so much, Devin. Well, Swedish researchers continue to work towards a vaccine for the new coronavirus, but a professor at Stockholm's Karolinska Institute warned it will not be ready until 2021. This tops our medical news this morning. Swedish researchers are using a new method which avoids the need to grow the virus in a laboratory. Instead, researchers copy and then insert a section of the virus's genetic code into a so-called plasmid that turns the body into a mini vaccine factory. The vast majority of people do recover from the new virus. According to the World Health Organization, people with mild illness recover in about two weeks, while those with more severe illness may take three to six weeks to recover.
In mainland China, where the virus em emanated from, more than 80,000 people have been diagnosed and more than 58,000 have recovered so far. Two CBS News employees have tested positive for coronavirus. According to an internal CBS memo obtained by CNN, the employees work in two different New York City buildings. One employee works in the main CBS broadcast center and the other is in the office for 60 minutes. Employees in both buildings are being asked to work remotely until the offices are cleaned and disinfected. CBS News employees who came into contact with the infected individuals will self-quarantine for 14 days at home. Some CBS News productions will be originating from alternative locations over the next few days. The main offices for CBS News are expected to reopen on Monday. A biopharmaceutical conference in Boston, Massachusetts has been linked to dozens of coronavirus cases. Biogen, that's based in Cambridge, held the meeting last month for its employees, and some of them came from out of state. Now 70 coronavirus cases are related to the company, prompting Governor Charlie Baker to declare a state of emergency in response to the outbreak. Three of the cases are employees who traveled to Boston from other states, and those include Tennessee and North Carolina. Everyone who attended the meeting have been directed to work from home for two weeks. As of this Tuesday, Massachusetts is reporting 92 confirmed or presumptive positive cases in the state. And it's also flu season, and the coronavirus is, of course, making headlines. But now, a post from an educator in Hallsville, Missouri, promoting healthy hygiene practices in the classroom has gone viral. And it's all from a third grade teacher with an idea and an ink pad. Skylar Webb explains. President Trump, in a coronavirus-based address Wednesday, says an antiviral therapy will be available in record time. These treatments will significantly reduce the impact and reach of the virus. But in the meantime... Now that's not the right package there, but the coronavirus is still affecting the sports world too. And as it was announced yesterday, that will cause some changes to March Madness. We'll have the details. Plus, the NBA suspends its season until further notice. We'll have those stories, plus Devin's travel forecast right after this quick break. Northwoods Accents, located in Mercer, features a wide variety of high-quality rustic and contemporary furniture, all made in Wisconsin. Complete your patio or deck with maintenance-free outdoor furniture. View our best craft living room sets. Denali throws and beddings to warm the chilly evenings. All products have year-round low prices with no sales pressure. The owner is available to assist you with any questions. Stop by Northwoods Accents, 5079 U.S. Highway 51 in Mercer. Come to Dave Marston Motors today for a net net sale and save on all remaining 2019 Ford trucks. Get a 2019 F-150 Crew STX 4x4 for $11,121 off or lease a 2019 F-150 Super Cab STX 4x4 for 24 months for only $289 per month. Net net savings will get you $4,000 off a 2019 Ford Ranger Super Cab STX 4x4. Come see us at Dave Marston Motors in Monaco for a net net sale. You'll be glad you did. Ugh, my five minutes of peace. I wonder what goes into this mug. Well, Marissa, I'm glad you asked. It starts with the world's finest beans brought fresh from the source. The beans are roasted in-house dried fresh roasted flavor. You can win your own Eagle River Roasters mug. And a bag of the freshest Northwood coffee. At WJFW.com. Back to you, Marissa. More sampling than ever before at the Tomahawk Chamber of Commerce 17th Annual Taste of Tomahawk event, Saturday, March 21st at the Anshala Country Club from 1 to 4.30 p.m. Over 25 breweries, wineries, and restaurants will offer beer, wine, and food samples from some of the finest establishments in the state. Music by Strip T Band and Jeff Calhoun. This year's theme is black and white. Wear your most creative black and white attire for a chance to win a prize. Get your tickets now for the 17th Annual Taste of Tomahawk. Welcome back. Well, with all this coronavirus news, we've heard over the last week or so that the NBA was considering playing games in empty arenas for fans and player safety. Well, Wednesday night, they took it much further than that as the NBA announced the unprecedented step of suspending the season until further notice.
The decision comes after league officials say Utah Jazz All-Star Rudy Gobert tested positive for coronavirus. Moments before the Thunder and Jazz game, tip-off was postponed due to the test results. And now all players involved are quarantined and being tested for the virus. The NBA says that they will use the hiatus to determine the next steps regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, earlier this week, the NBA, NHL, and MLB closed locker rooms to family and the press to limit the coronavirus exposure. The National Hockey League released a statement following the NBA's decision. They stated that officials are consulting with medical experts on their opinions of the matter, and the league added that it will have a further update today. And March Madness turned into March Sadness. The NCAA announced Thursday afternoon that Division I basketball tournament games will be played without fans because of concerns about the spread of coronavirus. NCAA President Mark Emmert says that only essential staff and limited family will be allowed to go to the games. The news comes just five days before Selection Sunday when the 68-team bracket is revealed. All games will still be played and televised. And hours later, the Big Ten also banned fans from its tournament starting today. So a lot of big news in the sports world there as well. Yeah, so many people affected. And like I said, it, it really is unprecedented. And it'll be mm -hmm. interesting to see how everything plays out, how long the NBA season is suspended, um, if the season ends up being canceled altogether, Absolutely. you know, and, uh, and what happens with the tournament going forward too. And of course, we do have more coronavirus news throughout the entire show because there is really just so much to cover out there. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. But back here in the Northwoods uh, this morning, we're waking up to some foggy conditions out there, Devin. Yeah, a little bit of patchy fog across parts of the Northwoods this morning. You might be able to hear it a little bit in my microphone. We have a little bit of a breeze, too. We'll be seeing the, the winds really picking up coming up tonight into the daytime tomorrow. Right now at the airport in Rhinelander, not a bad start to the day. 35 degrees right now. Winds are out of the south at 7 miles per hour, making it feel a little cooler at 29 degrees. Otherwise, your visibility is here's where the fog is right now. Some of that patchy fog, five mile visibility in Tomahawk and Merrill. Other areas a little lower too. Here is your radar and satellite. We're seeing that rain moving in from west to east. It may mix in with a little bit of snow from time to time. But as temperatures rise, that will change to all rain. Here is your travel forecast on this Thursday. We'll have lower to even some upper 30s with some precipitation. Other areas may be a little dry from time to time. Panning further to the east, a lot of rain across the region with high temperatures in the lower to middle 40s. And painting to the south, you guessed it, more precipitation will be in the forecast, although lesser amounts the farther south you go. We'll have more news and weather coming up after the break. Get ready for spring with big savings at Menards. Liven up your indoor or outdoor space with these LED rope lights. They're available in four colors for just $8.99 each. Get free carpet pad after rebate with purchase of carpet. Give your floors a new look with Roxborough Frise carpet. It adds style and comfort to any room. In two colors, only 84 cents a square foot. During Menards, think spring sale. Save big money at Menards. Tonight. You sure you're feeling okay about ending Charles's life? Brooklyn Nine-Nine is the main event. I want to see the big guy pop the little guy's head off. Yeah, let's start the fight. I want to pop that little guy's head off. You're clearly the little guy. Ha <laughs> good one, Jake. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, tonight on NBC. Hello, family. Look who's coming to NBC Thursday. Hey, guys. What are you doing in my house? And why are you wearing my shower curtain? It's a night you'll never forget. You remember? You remember? You remember? Will and Grace and Indebted, NBC Tonight. Don't let a storm keep you in the dark ever again. Contact the experts at Christopher Electric, proudly providing backup power services in the central Wisconsin area. Their team will complete the job from start to finish, no third party necessary, and will fit your home with the perfect Generac standby generator. Generac helps protect your home and family from the risks associated with power outages. So don't miss out on this limited time offer. Christopher Electric and Generac, call for your free home consultation today. When disaster strikes, donated cash is the best form of relief. Cash is flexible and can quickly become whatever people need most, like all sizes and types of clothes. Food choices specific to the affected area. Access to clean drinking water. Or medical supplies and other essentials. Cash is immediate and gives people who need aid the ability to provide it. Cash is best because cash is possibilities. You're watching News Watch 12 Today with Marissa Silvas, Angela Kim, and Tyler Moore.
Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us today. It is Thursday, March 12th. Well, President Trump is cutting off travel from a new part of the world as we now face a global pandemic. Dara Forges is at the CDC with the latest. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. President Trump suspending travel from Europe to the United States beginning Friday at midnight. The restrictions will not apply to the United Kingdom. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings, and these prohibitions will not only apply to the tremendous amount of trade and cargo, but various other things as we get approval. The president says he will soon be taking emergency action to provide financial relief for working Americans who fall ill, get quarantined, or have to take care of anyone infected by the coronavirus. Effective immediately, the SBA will begin providing economic loans in affected states and territories. I will be instructing the Treasury Department to defer tax payments without interest or penalties for certain individuals and businesses negatively impacted. Finally, I am calling on Congress to provide Americans with immediate payroll tax relief. Despite stocks plummeting into bear market territory Wednesday, President Trump says he expects an economic boom when the outbreaks slow down. People are leaving their homes. Uh, I think you're going to see a tremendous pent-up demand, which hopefully won't be in the too distant future. From the CDC in Atlanta, I'm Daryl Forges reporting. You know, such a big topic right now and just really so much to talk about. And we do, of course, have more coverage throughout the show, too. All right. And so much came out just yesterday. You know, mm -hmm. it sounds like there's just going to be more and more um, coming in the near future. Yeah, there's a lot to update everybody right. on. But first, I want to talk about this weather outside because yesterday it was actually fairly sunny outside. It was a great day. I went mm -hmm. for a walk just around the block with my son, but we had oh. a really nice time. We listened to the birds singing and <laughs> it was nice out. I'm so glad yeah. you had a nice time. But it looks like yeah. today it's going to be a bit foggy this morning. So for more on that, let's head over to our weather center where Devin Biggs is filling in four times. Tyler Moore and Devin, I want to know how foggy exactly is it outside today? It's not majorly foggy. You can still see for a good amount of distance. We can definitely see there's a little bit of a haze in the air and some areas may be a little bit more thicker than others. But we do have some other interesting weather to track this morning. Some rain, maybe a little bit of snow will be heading in our direction for parts of the morning today. We can see it right now on our radar. We're seeing the rain moving in from west to east. And yes, you are not mistaken. That is a lightning bolt currently registering in parts of Iowa right now. So some of these rain showers have produced a little bit of thunder from time to time. They will be tracking off to the east soon again. A little bit of a few snowflakes can mix in this morning as temperatures warm up. Again, here's that light live look in Monaco. You see that haze just above the building buildings right now. So a little bit of patchy fog in a few spots this morning. Otherwise, things for travel wise looking pretty good. Temperatures warming up right now in Rhinelander, 35 degrees right now, 37 degrees in Arbor Vida, 36 degrees in Wisconsin Rapids. Your bus stop forecast this morning, 35 degrees, cloudy and a few flurries and drizzle could be possible. But as we head towards the afternoon hours, it'll be a little wet, 41 degrees with chances of rain. Your hour by hour forecast temperatures warming up into the lower 40s through the afternoon hours. Your full forecast is coming up. Marissa and Angela. In December, Colton True was convicted in the deaths of four people in Chippewa Falls. On Wednesday, True learned that he will be facing 54 years in prison, followed by 45 years of extended supervision. That's a total sentence of 99 years. During the sentencing hearing, True's defense team also brought up the name of John Stender repeatedly. True's lawyer says charges against Stender are expected to be filed before the end of the week. He was the passenger in the vehicle at the time of that crash. U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin is calling for action on the Great American Outdoors Act, designed to provide a large boost in funding to maintain waterways and national forests. The money would go to the Land and Water Conservation Fund, which Baldwin worked to permanently authorize last year. Wisconsin has received more than $200 million in LWCF funding over the past 50 years. The new legislation calls for additional funding to make up for missing dollars in years past really address some of the deferred maintenance that we've seen because of low budgets, all without spending a penny of taxpayer dollars. The funding Most protects national lands like the Shawamigan Nicolay National Hunt. Forest and the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. The full Senate will consider the legislation this week. 
The Rhinelander Oneida County Airport got a bit more comfortable on Wednesday when airport staff put the final touches on the new secure area. The upgraded space just opened yesterday for passengers departing on a 6.45 a.m. flight. Construction started earlier this year with the finishing touches coming last night. The holding area for passengers after they make their way through security now features bathrooms, snacks and more seating. The coffee in the bathrooms went over really well this morning from what I've heard. Um, and then just the space and the light and going through the checkpoint, going through security, there's a lot more space back there now. Airport Director Matthew Leitner says the old secure area will be turned into more lobby space in the next month. And he added the airport will undergo even more work when all the snow melts. Come summer in nicer weather, we're going to be working out on the uh, apron. We're going to be rehabilitating the infrared de-icer. We've got all kinds of projects um, in the works. The airport received about $5 million of federal grants this year to fund all of these infrastructure improvements. Well, it's now 534 and coming up in consumer news, some stores are placing limits on how much you can buy due to COVID-19. We'll explain why. Plus, will the coronavirus affect your taxes this year? We'll have those stories and more news you can use in just a bit. I think my teachers are really awesome. They're just so nice and willing to help with anything we need. What I think everybody should know about the RVA is that it's not what you might think of as a typical homeschooling experience. It's very challenging. Most people think that you don't get to talk to people if you're homeschooled, but it's the opposite of that. It's flexible, but it offers each kid a chance to excel in subjects that they're good in, and it gives them extra support in the subjects that they need help in. The RVA has changed my life by helping me prepare for college and encouraged me to plan ahead for life. Quality Homes of Tomahawk now sells modular homes built by Wisconsin Homes. Wisconsin Homes has maintained a tradition of building some of the finest homes on the market. Quality Homes also has a large selection of new manufactured and mobile homes. New homes starting at only $32,900. All prices include delivery and setup anywhere in Wisconsin. Whether buying your first home or a cabin getaway, Quality Homes has the experience and expertise to make your dreams a reality. Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio has designed beautiful and functional kitchens and baths in the Northwoods. With in-home consultation available, they provide 3D drawings of your spaces to bring your visions to life. Owner and designer Sarah has over 20 years of experience, overseen 500 plus projects, and built strong relationships with local contractors providing superior installation. Whether it's a new home or a remodel, Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio in Eagle River looks forward to making your dream kitchen or bath a reality. Fishing for the best deal on a new Alumacraft boat? Then get to American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. Upgrade to your dream fishing boat with the lowest prices on Alumacraft's guarantee, starting as low as $109 a month. Pick from hundreds of boats in stock at the largest showroom in the USA. We'll beat any boat price by 500 bucks and trade in your old boat for even more savings. Book the best deal on Alumacraft boats at American Marine and Motorsports Shawano. And welcome back. Plenty of clouds and a little bit of patchy fog to go around for everyone this morning. Here's a live look in Rhinelander. You can see the city lights are reflecting off of the clouds this morning. Some very low clouds causing a little bit of patchy fog to develop across the region this morning. Temperatures right now not too bad. 34, 35, excuse me, degrees in Rhinelander, 34 degrees in Merrill and also in Wausau. Visibilities are down a little bit this morning. Tomahawk, you're reporting five mile visibility right now, as well as Merrill. And even in Anago, seeing a little bit of thicker fog with 1.5 mile visibility currently at the moment. Temperatures are going to be uh, warm today, and then we're going to be kind of a little bit of a roller coaster, right? Although not too major. Uh, 42 degrees for your high temperature today, cooling down to 32 degrees by Saturday. Then we start warming things up a little bit to 41 degrees by Monday. Then again on Wednesday. So we'll be in the 30s and 40s relatively around to slightly above average for our temperatures. We're supposed to be at 35 degrees for this time of the year. We do have gale warnings that are in effect for parts of Lake Superior that will go into effect tonight up until 7 p.m. tomorrow night because winds will be very gusty tomorrow. We will be feeling those winds and, and wave heights could reach 7 to 12 feet across parts of Lake Superior at times. But right now this morning we all tracking some rain that are tracking that's tracking in from west to east and even at times across parts of the Minnesota Iowa.
Iowa border. We have seen a little bit of some lightning, but so far no new lightning to report, but we have seen it from time to time. Here's a little bit of a wider look at things right now. It's moving from west to east. You can see the lightning kind of flickering on the radar from time to time. We'll see this mixing in with a little bit of snow before eventually changing to all rain. This is all part of a very busy setup. We have system after system after system across parts of the United States. A little boundary tracking off in our direction that will be dropping temperatures soon. Here is your future cast. Clouds will be hanging around all day long and thickening up as the rain moves in. As the low pressure system moves on towards the north and east a little bit, look at what happens. The wind swings out of the west, north west and look what happens. The clouds will hang around a little bit. It's also going to be very windy gusts up to 30 miles per hour at times. But the good news is Friday morning that we will not see much in the way of cloud cover. It will be a pretty decent day. We will see the clouds kind of mixing in from time to time too before more clouds move in by Saturday morning because the nose system starts tracking close to us. And again, wind gusts can reach up to 30 miles per hour at times, so we'll need to keep that in mind. But the good news is throughout the day on Friday, things will begin to calm down. Not much snow with this, about dusting or less. All the major snow will be closer to, uh, if you want to say major, that's a relative term. It'll be closer to Lake Superior. Some of it will be lake effect. Your forecast coming up for today, upper 30s to lower 40s and a few middle 40s, to, especially if you head farther to the south, where it's going to be a little bit warmer, maybe 51 degrees for Adams County. Then we'll have 23 degrees for your low tonight. Rain and snow early changing to mostly cloudy skies and a little bit of fog late. Winds will be out of the west at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here is a look at your Northwoods Furniture seven day forecast. Friday and Saturday, some clouds. Friday, we'll see a little bit more sun than clouds now. Sunday, you can see more, more sunshine too. Next chances of rain on Monday and Wednesday. Marissa and Angela. Not too bad of a week there. Thanks so much, Tevin. Well, one in three American families choose not to seek medical care due to the cost. That tops our look at Consumer News this morning. That's the finding of a new Bankrate.com survey out all new this morning. At a time when access to health care is critically important for mitigating the coronavirus outbreak, the study finds 32% of families skip out on things like medications, vaccinations, annual exams, vision checks, and more. And it's all because of the cost. More than a quarter say they had to take on debt, borrow from family or friends, or tap into retirement savings to cover health care costs in the past year. And consumers hoping to protect themselves from coronavirus may find themselves running out of options. Many stores, including Target and Walmart, are placing limits on the sale of hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes. Target says it is limiting customers to six containers of wipes and hand sanitizers per person. Walmart is telling store managers to manage their inventory to limit items that are usually unusually high in demand. That means policies could vary from store to store. Public set a limit of two each of, of two each of hand sanitizers, masks, rubbing alcohol, bleach, and other antiviral products. Experts say the rationing and limits should have all started earlier to prevent price gouging and hoarding. And Twitter is requiring its entire workforce to work from home. That marks a much stronger edict than its guidance from last week that strongly encouraged them to do so. The new policy applies to all employees, which the company refers to as tweeps across the globe. Twitter says contractors and hourly workers who cannot perform their duties from home will continue to be paid. The company is also reimbursing employees for childcare costs if coronavirus has closed their normal daycare options. Employees can charge the company for home office equipment, including ergonomic chair cushions, desks, and online fees. Twitter is also temporarily suspending travel for its workers. And President Trump is considering a delay in the April 15th tax filing deadline. It's all aimed at curbing the financial impact of coronavirus on households and businesses. And sources tell CNN that the IRS would likely extend the deadline by at least several months or waive fees linked to late filing. Meanwhile, we're also learning about an overhaul in tax forms. Mary Maloney has what you need to know about the new WR in today's Consumer Watch. For the first time in years, the IRS updated the Federal Income Withholding Form, or W-4. The change reflects the new tax code Congress approved in 2017. The new form has been divided into five steps, and you can skip questions that don't apply to your situation. One major change is that it took away allowances because the new tax law eliminated personal exemptions. Instead, the form directly asks you how many children and dependents you have, and you have to multiply that 
number by the amount of the federal tax credit. It also simplified the section about other income. Now you just have to check a box if you work two jobs or if you have a spouse who works. You only need to fill out a W-4 if you started a new job in 2020. But tax specialists encourage workers to review their withholdings each year. If too little is deducted, you may get a smaller refund or possibly owe money at tax time. If too much is deducted, you might get a fat check at tax time. But you're basically giving the government a no-interest loan throughout the year. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mary Maloney. So the same strategies that you would use for protecting yourself from the flu can protect you from coronavirus. Northern Wisconsin remains free of COVID-19, but some hospitals and health departments still are ready for it. Coming up at 6, we'll have more on how local hospitals are preparing for a coronavirus outbreak. So stick with us. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brian from Creative Granite. When I need the forecast from Minocqua, I go to WJFW.com for my hometown forecast. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. It was in February, I was playing pond hockey and literally had to be helped up. Uh, I was in constant pain after that. So I came to Dr. Drager and uh, they started me uh, on the laser treatment. I realized as I've gone through this, every day I was feeling better and I am so happy with, uh, with uh, coming to see Dr. Drager. Contact Drager Chiropractic in Eagle River to see if high intensity laser treatment is right for you. Call 715-479-5995. Backed by popular demand at Slumberland. Look at what just $10 a month will get you when you spend $5.99. Our lowest finance offer ever. But act fast, it won't last long. Pay no interest for five years when you spend $5.99 or more. A classy bedroom set, all four pieces, only $10 a month. A mattress with a postered base, $10 a month. Five-year financing on purchases of just $5.99 or more. And get free shipping with no minimum, and most items can be in your home in a week. Only at Slumberland Furniture. Since 1923, the Rhinelander Country Club has offered challenging golf on beautifully groomed greens as well as a relaxing social atmosphere for all ages. But did you know that the Rhinelander Country Club is also available for your private parties or functions? We can provide the entire facility for anniversaries, class reunions, or birthday parties, and the picturesque location makes it the perfect location for weddings and receptions. So whether you are looking for a gathering place or some relaxation on the links, try the Rhinelander Country Club. It's severe weather season across northern Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Ken Kortnoff, the Oneida County Emergency Management Director. And I'm Newswatch 12's Jeff Weller. Register today for a severe weather training class to learn all about severe weather. This year's class is Tuesday, March 17th at the Oneida County Law Enforcement Center. There's no charge for the class, but registration is greatly appreciated. I had to pack up all my things. I had to leave my home. And I never knew where I was going next. But then you came along. There's a child in foster care waiting for a volunteer like you. Welcome back. Well, you may remember the story that we tried to bring you earlier, but with it being flu season and the coronavirus is, of course, making headlines. So now a post from an educator in Hallsville, Missouri, is promoting healthy hygiene practices in the classroom, and it's gone viral. And it's all from a third grade teacher with an idea and an ink pad. Skylar Webb explains. Hmm. I've washed most of it off, but like it, you have to look really, really closely if you want to see it. It's on both hands. James had a stamp on his hand, but making it disappear is his goal. I just thought, what could I put on their hand that they then would have to wash off? That's Shauna Woods, the mastermind behind what fellow teachers call the stamp challenge. She posted it to Facebook and the post went viral. The good kind of viral. Never in a million years would I have thought that it would have reached over six million people. Mrs. Wood's goal was to teach good hygiene practices, but she reached millions. That's kind of cool. This third grade class at Hallsville Intermediate School is now Facebook famous. Woods has stamped hands every morning for a week. 
If they wash their hands enough and the stamp disappears, the students get a prize. Of course, they were all super excited because I said the word prize, but we talked about the purpose too. Yay, I'm safe from washing my hands and now I get a prize for something. Wood says all classrooms have sinks with hand sanitizers and antibacterial wipes too. Uh, teachers all over the place are just trying. And from fractions, what fraction would that dot be? To life skills, Mrs. Woods is also teaching good habits. You know, we, we see that absentees are um, increasing because of illnesses, and obviously the kids can't learn when they're not in my classroom. I really love that too because you know it's so easy for kids to come to school and just be sick in general not with the flu or anything but just you know it can be easy to pick up germs when you're so young so I love that that teacher's being so proactive. Yeah just a good reminder to always wash your hands and it's cute always. that she's made it a, kind of a game for them. Absolutely yeah. but outside Devin this morning for any kids that are heading to school or getting ready for school right now how's the day looking ahead for them? Yeah, it's looking a little little cool out here. You might need a little bit of a jacket or maybe a heavier winter coat, depending on your tolerance for the cold. But otherwise, we do have a little bit of a light breeze out here. The American Flag Outsider Station is moving this morning. Otherwise, not too terrible of a morning. Let's take a live look at our sky cam at the airport right now. 35 degrees now. That wind's still out of the south at 7 miles per hour, so it feels a little bit cooler out there right now. What we're watching now is a little bit of fog that's developing this morning. We're down to 5 miles visibility in Merrill and Tomahawk. And I know you've improved a little bit now up to 2 mile visibility. But otherwise, some areas not too terrible. Seven mile visibility, kind of the general consensus. Now, here's a look at your radar and satellite. Things moving from west to east with the rain. We'll be seeing that moving in over the next several hours. May see a little bit of snow mixing in, but eventually changing to all rain. The travel forecast coming up on this Thursday. Again, lower to lower 40s, even some upper 40s farther to the south, but plenty of rain in store. That'll be the general theme across the central and eastern parts of the state, too, with lower to middle 40s in the forecast. Warmer to the south, though, Chicago, look at you, 61 degrees with cloudy skies. We'll have more news and weather coming up after the break. Bob's Factory Outlet in Park Falls and Ashland is having a tax time bundle sale. The $999 seven piece tax time bundle includes a sofa, love seat or chaise or recliner, plus a cocktail table and two end tables. Complete the tax time bundle with a set of two lamps. Sleep well after saving on beauty rest plus Euro top queen mattress set, $749 after check. Use your $100 check towards a purchase of $4.99 or more. Bob's Factory Outlet Tax Time Bundle Sale ends April 4th. My name is Sheldon. I'm from Wassa. I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed with a deteriorating spine. And finally, I couldn't hardly function no more. So I'm sitting and watching TV and I see Dr. Justin Sherrick come on there. I got right in the car and drove right down to his office. I started treatment that very same day and that brings us here today. I'm totally pain free. Can't thank the doctor enough. Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. This is Jill Karofsky's arena, and she doesn't mess around. As a prosecutor and now a trial court judge, Jill has locked up criminals and protected our families. This is also Jill's arena, a two-time Ironman triathlete. No one outworks her. Now Jill is entering this arena, running for the Supreme Court to stop corruption and the influence of big money special interests. Whether you're a violent criminal or a corrupt politician, I will hold you accountable. Fair, tough, independent. Jill Karofsky for Supreme Court. You're watching News Watch 12 Today with Marissa Silvas, Angela Kim, and Tyler Moore. And welcome back. The first day of spring is a week away, but in parts of the Northeast, it feels like it has already arrived. In Boston, the mercury soared to 70 this past weekend. The rest of the week looks unseasonably mild, but not as warm as the first two days of the work week. Temperatures will drop back into the 40s and 50s and stay there for at least a week. It was a balmy 72 degrees in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Monday afternoon and residents were out enjoying the, the early spring. The, remi the remainder of the week will be cooler in the Philadelphia area. 
Man, we moved, we've had above average temperatures in our neck of the woods too. 40s definitely feels great around here. It really does. Yeah, yeah I know. It's been, last weekend was amazing, and then the last couple of days have been pretty nice as well to get out and enjoy it. Yeah, it's been I, very nice. I know, and I remember living in the Northeast. I'm from upstate New York. I'm sure I've told both of you that. Um, but I just remember, you know, when it hits the 50s, people break out the shorts, they take off the jackets. Like, I remember yeah. in college, people were just walking around and, like, <laughs> lounging on the grass like they were tanning, like it was 80 degrees. Exactly. Right Sunroofs are open. Yeah, everyone <laughs> kind of comes out of hiding to enjoy right. it. And in the Northwoods, that's probably 30s and 40s and beyond. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'll true. take it. Mm -hmm. And we're getting that this week as well, right, Devin? Yeah, we are getting that this week, though. Although this morning, it'll start off a little cool. You might need at least a little bit of a light jacket out there and maybe a little bit of patchy fog, too, greeting you this morning. That's what we're seeing on our sky cam in parts of Monaco right now. Just above, you can see the lights reflecting off the clouds a little bit, a little bit of a haze from time to time. Uh, visibilities are down in a few spots. We are tracking some rain that's heading in our direction, too. It may mix in from snow from time to time while temperatures are still cool this morning, but as they warm up, it'll be more of a rain event. The future cast coming up today, the rain will develop throughout the day. And as that low pressure system moves to the north and east, you might need a little bit of a thicker coat because you see all those black lines there? Those are isobars, which means it's going to be very windy coming up for the daytime tomorrow. That's why we have gale warnings up for parts of Lake Superior. The hourly forecast coming up today, again, we'll have plenty of clouds and plenty of rain. That'll be lasting through most of the day. Highs reaching into the lower 40s by the afternoon hours. A quick look at your seven day forecast. Again, once we get past that Friday, now looking to be more of a partly cloudy sky thing, but I'll have to update that seven day forecast view. Otherwise, more clouds moving in by the weekend. So not too terrible. Yeah, I was going to say that dip really isn't too big of a dip compared exactly. to what we've seen in the past. It's really nice. And also, yeah. I know, you know, a lot of St. Patrick's Day parades are on this Saturday, including the Rhinelander one. And so <laughs> even though it's a little chillier, Sunshine. That sounds great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that always makes it feel a little bit warmer, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds great. Thanks so much. Thank Devin. you. Well, next on News Watch Talk today, we have the details on how some local health departments plan to handle the coronavirus if it comes to northern Wisconsin. We'll have that story for you. Plus, it's time to search for the perfect prom look. London Taylor Bridal is here in studio to show off some styles. And let me tell you, they are beautiful. That's coming up in our next half hour. But first, you're waking up with News Watch 12 today here on NBC. We know it can be scary when you're injured in an accident. We know the insurance company can be unfair. We know bills need to be paid. But we also know what it takes to win. We know what it takes to get our clients compensated. And most importantly, we always fight to do the right thing for our community. Nicolay knows. Nicolay knows. Nicolay knows. Nicolay knows. Injury law. Nicolay law. Wausau's award-winning injury, disability, and bankruptcy law firm. There are never enough hours in the day. I'm always making trade-offs, sacrifices, but I'll keep going. Even when it feels like there's no way I can do it all, I won't give up. I'm doing this for me and for them. We're doing this together. North Central Technical College's virtual college, flexible learning, because our time is precious. Play your way. Dine your way. Stay your way. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Win your way. The new boss from Taco John's doesn't take any guff from your hunger. It's large and in charge. With over a pound of cilantro lime rice, black beans, and your choice of chicken, season to perfection beef, or kick it up a notch with hand-cut sirloin steak. Go for the burrito or make it a bowl. And show hunger who's boss. The boss. Taco John's. Bigger. Bolder. Better. Hi, I'm Dean Hoger with Miracle Ear of Ryan Lander. 
If you're struggling to hear your favorite news and entertainment shows, stop in and see me for a free hearing test. Right now on Newswatch 12 Today, as cases of the coronavirus scale up, local health departments prepare. We'll hear their message. Plus, some patchy fog and clouds are greeting us this morning, but that will be changing to rain and a few snowflakes this morning. Your full forecast is coming up. And three roads in Lincoln County were awarded grant money, including a 100-year-old bridge that's getting a long overdue facelift. We'll learn more. It's Thursday, March 12th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us today. I'm Angela Kim here with Marissa Silvis. Well, Wednesday, the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus to be a pandemic. The U.S. alone has had more than 1,000 infected people reported, but limited testing means that number could be a low estimate. Northern Wisconsin is case free, but as Newswatch 12's Dan Hagen tells us, that isn't stopping preparations from local health departments. Judy Burroughs is focused on the coronavirus. She's one of four workers here that have had their roles shift because of the spreading virus. However, this is the kind of issue that as it scales up and if it scales up, so will we. Burroughs spends most of her time planning with local schools, businesses, and health care providers. After that, she squeezes in some research. We know that coronavirus is sped by respiratory droplets. That's why Burroughs says when it comes to personal prevention, think flu. So the same strategies that you would use for protecting yourself from the flu can protect you from coronavirus. That's why we're asking people to wash their hands, cover their mouths when they sneeze, stay home when they're ill. In Forest County, the health department has a similar message. Staying away from those who are sick, washing your hands, covering your cough. But a different approach. There are no hospitals in the county, so Director J.C. Shepard spends a lot of time working with partners in neighboring Oneida and Vilas counties. Making sure that we know what their plans are, they know what ours are, and we've always had a good relationship that way. Both Shepard and Burroughs don't want to overwhelm the public. Instead, Burroughs recommends people focus on the little things they can do. There's a lot that individuals can do to protect themselves, and the more that we can do as individuals, like washing your hands, staying home when you're ill, um, using disinfectant to clean surfaces, the more that we can prevent the spread of coronavirus. In northern Wisconsin, Dan Hagen, <laughs> Newswatch 12. You know, I like that advice, you know, don't panic, just focus on the small things you can do to keep yourself safe and also clean. Right, and just, uh, still very important for us to pass along any information that we know. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll have more of that throughout the show as well. Yeah. But first this morning, we have to talk about how it's a little foggier than usual this morning. It is, yeah, and possible snow and rain ahead. I know, it's going to cool yeah. down a little bit. So for more on that, let's head over to our weather center with Devin Biggs filling in for Tyler Moore. And Devin, you were saying that this weekend we could see some chillier, but not too cold temperatures, right? Yeah, well, actually, uh, temperatures that may fall below average for a little bit. That's a kind of a rare thing to say right now. Temperatures have been above average recently. Right now, this morning, we are tracking a little bit of patchy fog develop, or this morning, and now a little bit of some rain heading in our direction, too. We're seeing that rain starting to approach parts of the western parts of the viewing area now. Uh, so far, no reports of anything hitting the ground just yet. That will be changing pretty quickly. As that moves in from west to east, we'll see some of the heavier rain moving on in. Again, mixing with a little bit of snowflakes this morning with temperatures a little cool. We'll see temperatures rise and everything will change over to rain. You can see that little bit of a haze in parts of Minocqua this morning reflecting off of the clouds. So a little bit of some patchy fog in spots this morning, but still pretty good for traveling. Temperatures are in the low to mid 30s area wide with 37 degrees in Wisconsin Rapids, 35 degrees in Merrill. Your bus stop forecast this morning. Flurries and drizzle possible this morning with temperatures at, in the mid 30s, warming up to the lower 40s with rain chances in the forecast. Your out the door forecast coming up this morning. Temperatures will be warming up throughout the afternoon hours. Again, hidden, those numbers are incorrect, but they'll make it into the lower to middle 40s coming up for the afternoon hours. Marissa and Angela. Thanks, Devin. State officials gathered in Lincoln County on Wednesday, highlighting just one of 152 transportation projects that the Department of Transportation recently funded to the tune of about $75 million. Soon, the town of Corning will replace a 100-year-old bridge over Devil's Creek with an aluminum culvert. That's thanks to the DOT grant. The bridge lies on the official boundary road between Corning and the town of Scott.
Officials say it's too narrow for modern farm equipment and causes safety concerns. Highway Commissioner John Hans says Lincoln County was fortunate to see three different projects approved this year, and he's hoping that more grant money is made available in the future. Is that there's need for transportation funding on here to take care of the infrastructure. DOT Secretary Designee Craig Thompson agrees that the department still has more work to do. We have to chip away one at a time and you know not trying to make any illusion that this is solving our problems statewide. We have got we've got a long way to go. Many DOT construction projects are set to start this summer or fall. Construction on the Corning Road Bridge is expected to be completed sometime next year. Taking you across the country this half hour, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden will deliver a statement on coronavirus today. The former vice president initially was due to travel to Tampa, Florida, but in the wake of the public health emergency, Biden will speak on coronavirus in Wilmington, Delaware instead. Yesterday, Biden's presidential campaign announced formation of a new advisory committee yesterday in order to overview the risks of posed by the coronavirus and act as a counsel for the campaign. Biden plans to hold virtual events instead of public rallies for now. And President Trump will welcome the Prime Minister of Ireland to the White House today. The visit by Taisha Leo Varadkar is this in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. Ireland's Prime Minister is referred to as a Taisha, which is a Gaelic word meaning leader. The President and Prime Minister will also discuss ways to improve the relationship between Ireland and the U.S. Prime Minister and uh, Mr. Trump and the Prime Minister will usually hold an annual Shamrock Bowl presentation, but that may be postponed due to concerns about the coronavirus. Well, it's now 6.04 and coming up this morning on Newswatch 12 Today with prom right around the corner, we want to help you find the perfect outfit for your big day. London Taylor Bridal Gallery is here in studio to show off some of the latest looks for prom this year. Plus, Devin will have his full forecast when we return. Are your floors looking worn and outdated? Stop by Eagle Floor Covering in Eagle River for all your flooring needs. View our large selection of carpet, hardwood, laminate, vinyl, tile, and area rugs. We have a knowledgeable staff, competitive pricing, and free estimates. Locally owned and operated for over two decades. Come in and let over 40 years of combined sales and service experience help you select the right floor for your lifestyle and budget. Eagle Floor Covering on Twilight Lane off Highway 70 West, across from Eagle River Cabinets. Big insurance companies often use their size to take advantage of injured people making a claim. At Habish, Habish & Rotier, we don't think this is fair. So we've built our personal injury law practice to do everything possible to level the playing field. Because it shouldn't be about who's the biggest. It should be about what's right. Habish, Habish & Rotier. We fight for what's right. Eagle River Roasters, your Northwoods coffee roaster and community coffee house has the freshest specialty coffee and tea in the Northwoods. Our coffee comes from choice Arabica beans hand blended and roasted on premise for the finest specialty drinks. Fresh bakery, breakfast and lunch served daily, our comfortable coffee house is the perfect place for meeting friends or groups. The drive through is also open daily. Treat yourself with a great cup of coffee or take some beans to brew at home fresh from Eagle River Roasters, your Northwoods coffee roaster and community coffee house. Hey, welcome back. We are seeing clouds greeting us this morning. We're seeing those lights reflecting off of the sky in parts of Rhinelander this morning. The city lights reflecting off of the low clouds this morning. And some areas seeing a little bit of some patchy fog this morning too. The temperatures, not too terrible about jackets and maybe a borderline heavy coat weather this morning. Most of us are in the middle 30s, except for Wisconsin Rapids in the upper 30s this morning with 37 degrees. Now there is some patchy fog out there this morning. Our visibilities are down a little bit. Four miles in Tomahawk, five miles in Merrill, again, and also in Stevens Point. Anigo also improving with two miles. We got these graphics kinks worked out for you a little bit, so here's the correct number today. Warming up to 41 degrees by the afternoon hours before temperatures start, start cooling down with your out-the-door forecast. The temperature trend coming up over the next few days, again, will be 42 today, cooling down into the middle 30s before kind of going up and down a little bit between the 30s and 40s over the next few days. Now, we do 
have some wind that will be moving in too, and because of that, we have gale warnings up for parts of Lake Superior. 7 to 12 foot surf will be possible along Lake Superior starting as early as tonight. Right now, we're seeing some rain moving in from west to east this morning. Some heavier rains are starting to move into parts of the La Crosse now. We're starting to see that moving into our viewing area coming up over the next few hours. Let's zoom things out a little bit. Here's where the rain is now moving from west to east, and we're starting to see a little bit of snow that will be mixing in from time to time. The rain will over will expand in coverage coming up soon. This is all part of a boundary kind of connected between two other low pressure systems, one in Canada, one across the central parts of the US. Both of these are tracking to the to the northeast. This guy here will be tracking to the north and east. And that's going to be making things very windy coming up soon. Here is your future cast clouds sticking around all day long. That low pressure system tracking to the north and east. And as it does, the winds will swing out of the west northwest and the pressure gradient here. These black lines here will begin pretty tight. And that's going to be making things very windy out of the west northwest. So we need to keep an eye on that. Otherwise, looking pretty good on Friday. Lots of sunshine will be seen. And again, we'll not have much in the way of any clouds either. Just wind that we'll have to keep an eye on that. We'll back down through the evening hours on Friday before more clouds move in for the day on Saturday. So how much wind could we see? Check it up. Up to 30 mile per hour gusts will be possible. Some areas could see some higher amounts. So be a little bit of a breezy day coming up on Friday. Your forecast coming up for today, upper 30s to perhaps lower 40s, so a little bit of a wider range, even some warmer temperatures farther to the south with 51 degrees in Adams County. Coming up for the daytime so or the evening the tonight, 23 degrees, rain and snow early change into most of the skies and some fog light with that westerly breeze at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's a look at your Northwoods Furniture seven day forecast. Again, looking pretty good. Friday, Friday, partly cloudy skies. We'll have more clouds on Saturday. Sunday, looking pretty good. Next chances for rain on Monday and Wednesday. Marissa and Angela. Alrighty, thanks so much, Devin. Well, you may remember a few days ago, we talked all about how to make your hair and your makeup look pristine for prom. Well, now today let's talk about all about the important outfit. And here to show off some prom styles this morning is Mary Taylor, the owner of London Taylor Bridal. So good morning, Mary. Thanks so much for being here again this year. Good morning. Thanks for inviting me. Of course, welcome. We're yeah, excited thanks. to see all these gorgeous dresses. We're kind of getting distracted by them already. <laughs> I know. Uh, but first, could you just tell us a little about your store and you have prom dresses and so much more. Yes, we are a full service bridal salon. We have everything you need from shoes to undergarments to dresses to tuxedos. Mm -hmm. um, we are a full service um, alterations department too. We have oh, that, wow. which is really important, and layaway plans. So everything you need to make your special day even more special. I love that too. So you can go and get the dress and then just get it done in the store as well. You know, for me, that was a big problem in high school. So it's very efficient of you guys. Yep. And prom Thank season you. certainly is a really busy one as well. So how quickly do your dresses disappear throughout the prom season? Well, we've been selling dresses since Christmas. Oh, wow. So wow. Um, <laughs> it's been crazy the last uh, probably six weeks. We've sold a lot of dresses. So um, we still have a lot left, yeah. and we can still order if need be. We got about six weeks before the big prom is, when mm -hmm. most of the proms are April mm -hmm. 25th. Okay. That, awesome. That's excellent though, and I'm sure um, that's good though. Lots of people are, are on yeah. top of it. You know, they, they, they want to get their yes. looks and uh, and get the perfect dress and make sure that they don't miss out. Exactly. So, um, so do you have any tips though for anyone who's still shopping for their perfect prom look? Probably to get in as soon as possible of for um, of course, their dress and any of their appointments they want to get for hair and makeup, they should get that taken care of now too because those salons get really busy also. They Certainly. really do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything just fills up so quickly because everyone's just so excited about it. But you also brought us some outfits this morning as well. So I want to take a look at these. So first, let's look at the one right here behind you by the couch. So what exactly is the style that we're looking at? Well, this is a more fit and flare, and it does have a, the popular look this year too was this ombre look where it changes oh. color from top to bottom. That's so beautiful. Um, and of course, Sequins. We love sequins. <laughs> bling, yes. bling. Yes. 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 Bring me the sparkle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> peekaboo. Um, they like that little peekaboo. It's yeah, that mesh. And I see it's on the mm -hmm. sides, on too. On the sides, really too. Real important yeah. for um, arms when uh, the sequins rub Oh, on sure. The you arms. don't want to rub. Yeah, mm -hmm. you always yeah. get that, yeah, that yep. scratchy on you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's very smart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. I, I love it. It's beautiful. And there's also other, a few other things as well over on the other side of our studio. So what else is there over there? So we have um, glitter dress. It's kind of a ball gown, a little more poofy. Mm -hmm. um, we're not doing a lot of tulle right now. It's more the glitter um, oh, satins. And then our tuxedos, of course, to mix and match the vest and ties to match the dresses. That's uh, still popular, but our charcoal tuxedos and the classic um, 
black. You can never go wrong with the black. Um, mm -hmm. Classic black tie sure. look. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are just fantastic. And um, yeah, I, just, I, I can picture the people in them. I can picture, uh, <laughs> they're just gorgeous. And I especially love the, the ball gown look and the sweetheart neckline on, uh, on the sparkly one. And, yes. and like we yeah. said, you know, it's, sparkle is in, so it why sure not? Is. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then our tuxedos, the guys need to start coming in on those now. because we're Do they? Yes. Okay. We're about six weeks out, so yeah. Okay, fantastic. All the alterations, so that's good to know. Thanks yeah. so much. Yes. Alrighty. So if people do want some more information about your store, where can they go, Mary? They can come right downtown on Brown Street and visit our store or check us out on Facebook uh, or our um, website of course. Wonderful. Yeah, they all sound very gorgeous um, and thank you so much for bringing in these looks today, showing them off. I know a lot of girls are probably, and guys, are very yes. inspired for their prom looks because again, people just prep so far in advance for it. Exactly. You got to be ready. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the perfect look and uh, yeah, and these are all gorgeous options and, and make me want to be back in high school. Me too. Me too. <laughs> what a dream, that, right? <laughs> Man. Well, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so Thank much. You. We, we appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks. Okay. Well, coming up, we do have a coronavirus themed what's trending, including how one St. Patrick's tradition Day tradition in Chicago has now been canceled. We'll explain. Plus, we have more on the first NBA player who tested positive for coronavirus and what he did beforehand that have shocked some people. We'll have those stories and more coming up next on What's Trending. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Lakeland Sign and Graphics. Furniture and Appliance Mart is celebrating all week with the ultimate mattress sale, and you're invited. Shop doorbusters, including our best deal ever on Beautyrest mattresses, plus no interest financing for up to 75 months, and a free adjustable base upgrade with select purchases at the ultimate sale, only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Start your in-demand career in welding at Nicolet College. Learn advanced techniques from American Welding Society certified experts with direct connections to employers. Become AWS qualified at the lowest cost, at your pace, on your schedule. Your welding career starts here. Nicolet College works for you. If you find yourself needing a new Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Sheridisi with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today. Furniture and Appliance Mart is celebrating all week with the ultimate appliance sale, and you're invited. Get unbeatable savings up to 50% off appliances from the ultimate brands, and finance your purchase interest-free until fall. The ultimate deals during the ultimate sale, only at Furniture and Appliance Mart.
It's about a quarter after six, and time now for What's Trending. Well, Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz became the first NBA player to test positive for coronavirus on Wednesday. And while the league moved swiftly to suspend the season afterwards, Gobert's actions before any decisions were made have really caused some alarm throughout the basketball world. With the NBA recently banning media from accessing locker rooms, players have begun fulfilling their media obligations at the podium. Well, Gobert did so at Monday's Utah Jazz shoot around and afterward watch this he proceeds to touch every microphone on the stage what seemingly sending out a message about his fearlessness in regards to the disease or maybe just as a joke but it's unknown just how many people came into contact with those mics after Gobert. Gobert was ruled out of Wednesday's game earlier with what the Jazz termed an illness, which later grew into the reported positive test for coronavirus. After the game between the Jazz and the Oklahoma City Thunder was postponed, players for both teams were then quarantined in their locker rooms. The NBA reportedly planned initially to continue playing games with empty arenas and no fans, However, Gobert's diagnosis quickly changed that to suspending the season. But lots of people wow. talking about that touching of the microphones. I was going to say, it seems a little bit like karma had its uh, play in here. But yeah. I feel really bad for those reporters, too, because, you know, it's reporters for us. We're yeah. always going out, holding our microphones, holding it up to people to interview them. So mm -hmm. there's so many people they've probably interacted with from that time, not knowing this was going to happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Very he regrets concerning. his actions there, yeah. certainly. Yeah, and this is as unprecedented. This was what I woke up to this morning was the NBA suspending its season. And... And it's going to, who knows what could happen next. NCAA not allowing fans, and there's, there's question marks on if it might go further. I mean, it's. Yeah, it's I, right. I'm at a loss for words. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Exactly. I know. And also, you can't help but think about all of the workers who are going to be affected as well by right. the su suspending of the season. You know, the NBA players, they're making a lot of money. They're going to be okay. Right. But, um, you know, there's a yeah. lot of people who depend upon um, those jobs, you know, on game days to mm -hmm. be able to survive. I know yeah. a friend that works for the Chicago Bulls, and now they're kind of stuck right now with this season being suspended. Of course. It's tough. It's a very sticky situation. And like you said, too, it's also affecting the NCAA, too. Yeah, and that's definitely. That's actually what our next story is about, right. too because yesterday morning we talked about the fact that the NCAA planned to go ahead with March Madness, but that did quickly change. The NCAA announced Wednesday afternoon that it will hold its men's and women's basketball tournaments with no fans in the stands. The NCAA announced that the Division I basketball tournament games will be played without fans because of concerns about the spread of coronavirus. NCAA President Mark Emmert says the only essential staff and limited family will be allowed to go into the games. Emmert went on to say, quote, the decision is in the best interest of public health. The news comes just days before Selection Sunday when the 68-team bracket is revealed. And all games will be still played and televised. And hours later, the Big Ten also banned fans from its tournament starting today. So again, just affecting the sports world in so many different ways. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And, there's, and I know some people have wondered, should he, should he even go through and play the, these, these basketball games coming up? And honestly, I know most people will disagree with me. I think they should probably ax the tournament too because it's not going to be the same not having fans there. Yeah, well, I my thought was, you know, I wonder how it would change the outcome of games because I know those players feed off exactly. of that, you know, it's that so energy. much, the energy in the crowd. The um, so, yeah, I mean, you have to wonder how it would affect the outcome and also just, you know, still getting all those players together, that is still a fairly large group of people that you're getting together that, mm -hmm. um, you know, they might change their, their minds um, in yeah. the coming week or so. We'll have so, to see how it turns out, I guess, yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see and that's that plus the health concerns kind of why I'm like they should probably kind of call it off. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll yeah. definitely see what will happen. Mm -hmm. Our next story also affects Chicago, the dying of the Chicago River to green and the annual St. Patrick's Day parade have been postponed for now over coronavirus concerns. Each event brings thousands of revelers to the heart of the city to, to take part in St. Patrick's Day festivities. Local leaders have cited the safety and well-being of residents over the growing coronavirus concerns. This is file of the uh, Chicago River and parade festivities that are among the biggest draws to the city each year. Officials say the events have been postponed for now and hope to reschedule at a later date. Residents across Chicago and particularly the elderly have been advised to avoid mass gatherings as the number of cases continues to rise. 
You know, I know a lot of people are saying, you know, maybe this is being overblown, a bit blown out of proportion, but at the end of the day, you know, we're still seeing all these deaths happen. It's very concerning. It's spreading across the world. Um, and I think, honestly, better safe than sorry. So I'm glad people mm -hmm. are being proactive about this rather than the worst happening and then seeing all this happen. Right, and it certainly seems like a domino effect and everything really was kind of magnified yesterday when all of these things came out. Right. And I know you were considering going to Chicago this weekend. I was, and then mm -hmm. I saw this news and I was like, you know what, probably best to stay in Rhinelander and not bring it back to the Northwoods possibly. <laughs> so, but again, it's just you have to think about everything you're going to do and just think about the effect if you do bring it back because the quarantine, it lasts 14 days. Right? Yeah, and, and it's not just you, it's people around you too, and that's, that's a mess. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. the big concern is who you might pass things along to. Right, but the nice mm -hmm. news is that the weather outside is not a mess today, which is it great. Is not. Yeah, yeah, the weather's not terribly a mess. I mean, it's rainy, so I guess that's messy, but it's not the biggest mess in the world. I mean, this morning we do have a little bit of patchy fog greeting us in parts of Monaco this morning. You see the lights reflecting off of the clouds, so again, a little bit out there this morning, nothing too major. We're seeing the rain and a little bit of snowflakes moving in now. We'll see that changing to all rain as temperatures rise, rise up into the upper 30s to low 40s today. We'll see that rain uh, moving in throughout the day, but as we move through the evening and overnight hours tonight, especially into the daytime tomorrow, look how windy it gets. Those tight black lines or ice bars, so it's going to be very windy gusts up to 30 miles per hour at times. Throughout the day today, again, we do have rain moving in. Temperatures will be in the lower 40s, dropping off throughout the evening hours. And then beyond that, looking pretty good Friday, except for the wind. Partly cloudy skies, highs in the lower 30s. Again, not looking too bad. Monday and Wednesday are next chances for rain once we get past today. So again, not too bad for this time of the year. We'll have more news and weather coming up after the break. Looking for an exciting career? Bonner Asphalt Sealers is now hiring. Bonner is a company that cares about you. The company's dedication to safety is very important. As a husband and a father, it's very important that I make it back home. Our employees receive on-the-job training, competitive pay, and growth opportunities. I think it's a great job. It's full of opportunities. You're able to meet different people and build great friendships throughout the years. It's a great company to work for. I'm really proud of what we do here. To learn more about joining the Bonner Asphalt team, visit our website. Hi, this is Tim and Judy from Tomahawk Monument Company. When we want the forecast for Tomahawk, we go to WJFW.com and check our hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. The insurance companies know the name. Hupe and Abraham. They get you the big checks. Hupe and Abraham got me over $1 million. $800,000. $120,000. All the money I deserved. So much more than I thought I'd get. Much more. They really do mean business. Make the insurance company pay. Tell them you mean business. Call the firm voted best. Hupe and Abraham. 800-800-5678. Right now. At Cracker Barrel, you'll always feel right at home. With favorites like our golden country fried steak, our scratch-made buttermilk pancakes, and our signature chicken and dumplings. So come on home to what you love. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. Tonight, you hit the 24-7 coffee bar. And after five cups of French roast and six hours of wordsmithing, you're ready for some shut-eye. Nope. Or maybe just a few miles on the treadmill. Too much coffee? Oh. Tonight, La Quinta. Tomorrow, you triumph. Let me introduce me. Here I come. Yeah. Cuts, colors, braids, and fades. We stand for style. Cost Cutter Salons. Number one in color in Wisconsin. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Aspiras. And welcome back. It's a little breezy out here this morning, but not too bad. It's also a little cool, but not too terrible. Temperatures right now are in the middle 30s. As we take a live look outside in parts of the Rhinelander Airport, it's not looking half that bad out there. 35 degrees in Rhinelander. Winds out of the south at 6 miles per hour. You can hear that wind in my microphone. Feeling a little bit like 30 out there this morning. Here is a look at your visibility where there is a little bit of patchy fog out there, but the more dense fog is in Anago. Half a mile visibility currently being seen right now. Mosinet, you're at 5 miles visibility. Here is the radar and satellite coming up. Winds are the, excuse me, the rain moving from west to east right now as our next system beginning to move on in. You can hear that wind too, really making things feel a little breezy. Here is our travel forecast coming up here on this Thursday again, lower with some rain moving in, lower 40s against some upper 40s being seen too. Farther to the east though, lower to middle 40s will be in the forecast. But as we pan further to the south, not looking half that bad, 61 degrees in Chicago under cloudy skies. Here is today's birthday club.
The new boss from Taco John's doesn't take any guff from your hunger. It's large and in charge. With over a pound of cilantro lime rice, black beans, and your choice of chicken, seasoned to perfection beef, or kick it up a notch with hand-cut sirloin steak. Go for the burrito or make it a bowl. And show hunger who's boss. The boss. Taco John's. Bigger. Bolder. Better. Come to Dave Marston Motors today for our net net sale and save big on all used cars and trucks. Get a 2017 Ford Escape SE 4x4 with factory warranty for only $15.9. Or how about a Ford quality certified 2016 F-150 Crew Cab 4x4 for a low $27.9. Net net savings will get you a 2018 Ford Focus Titanium for only $14.9. Come see us at Dave Marston Motors of Knockville for our net net sale. You'll be glad you did. Don't let a storm keep you in the dark ever again. Contact the experts at Christopher Electric, proudly providing backup power services in the central Wisconsin area. Their team will complete the job from start to finish, no third party necessary, and will fit your home with the perfect Generac standby generator. Generac helps protect your home and family from the risks associated with power outages. So don't miss out on this limited time offer. Christopher Electric and Generac, call for your free home consultation today. The annual Hodag Home and Lifestyle Show has grown and been renamed the RACC Business Showcase. Not only will you see the same great home-focused businesses this year, but you will also see new businesses, industries, and more kid-friendly activities, and admission is still free. Whether you're a home do-it-yourselfer and need advice or simply want to explore the area businesses, they have it all. The RACC Business Showcase presented by the Rhinelander Chamber is Saturday, March 21st from 9 until 4 at the Rhinelander High School. Hi, I'm IC. For many former servicemen and women with post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury, the battle doesn't always end when they come home. American Humane rescues animals needing forever homes and trains them to become free, life-saving service dogs for veterans in need. If you're a veteran or know a veteran struggling, go to AmericanHumane.org to learn about their Pups for Patriots program. Let's give our veterans a fighting chance. Right now on Newswatch 12 Today, the World Health Organization announced that COVID-19 is now officially a pandemic. We'll have more on what worries officials. Plus, we're seeing some rain and some fog moving in this morning. It's starting to get a little breezy out there too. What does your full forecast look like? All that is coming up. We have a finite number of ICU beds and a finite number of ventilators, and there's only so much we can do. And after days of downplaying threats posed by the coronavirus outbreak, President Trump is suspending travel from Europe to the U.S. for 30 days, calling on Congress to address financial fallout from what is now considered a global pandemic. It's Thursday, March 12th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. On Wednesday, the World Health Organization announced COVID-19 is now officially a pandemic. That means the virus is now widespread across the world. And WHO's director says the agency is concerned about how quickly the disease is spreading, despite efforts to contain it. Adding some countries have been able to suppress the outbreak, but others did not react quickly enough. In the past two weeks, the number of cases of COVID-19 outside China has increased 13-fold. And the number of affected countries has tripled. That lack of response and the spread of the virus are the reason behind the upgrade. Authorities emphasize that pandemic says it's spreading. That's not the severity of the virus. And we're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. That, the WHO says, was a major factor in the upgrade of the virus. Pandemic carries a heavy weight to it, and WHO emphasized the upgraded status reflects the spread threat of the virus. It does not mean the virus is more or less deadly. And, of course, we will have more coverage on this because it's a big, big topic right now. Of course, and here in Wisconsin as well. Yeah. But outdoors, we're waking up to some pretty mild temperatures, um, but it's a little windy. I was going to say, and a little foggy, too, outside. Yeah, for more on what to expect for the rest of the day, let's head right on. 
on over to our weather center and Devin Biggs in for Tyler Moore this morning. And uh, Devin, a little foggy now and then possibly some rain to deal with. Yeah, some patchy fog developing in some spots this morning, and we do have some rain moving in soon. You even got a little bit of wind starting to pick up a little bit this morning, too. Here's our latest look at the radar. We do have some rain that's moving in from west to east. Nothing yet hitting the ground, but that will be changing pretty quickly. Um, any rain that does fall could mix in with a little bit of snowflakes from time to time. Zoom things out a little bit. Then everything's moving from west to east and a little bit of a northeasterly direction. This is as that area of low pressure moves off towards the north and east. Here's your latest look right now in Monaco. You can see the lights reflecting off of the clouds a little bit, which is giving us a little bit of that patchy fog of that mist out there this morning too. But temperatures not too bad. Lower to middle 30s, a few upper 30s too in Arbor Vida and also in Wisconsin Rapids. Your bus stop forecast coming up today. 35 degrees, cloudy and flurries and a few uh, few bits of drizzle too will be possible in fog as we head towards the afternoon hours. Rain with 41 degrees for your temperature. The hourly forecast coming up for the rest of the day. Rain will be picking up. Temperatures hitting 39 by 1 p.m. Marissa and Angela. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services confirmed three new cases of coronavirus are in Wisconsin. And Wednesday, that brought the state's total to six. Now, none of them are in the Northwoods. Among the three cases, one is in Waukesha County outside of Milwaukee. The two others are in Fond du Lac County. The DHS says the patients were exposed while traveling either abroad or internationally. We know that none of the six have died, although we don't know the severity of their illnesses. The Crandon School District says that they will be closed on Friday so they can deep clean and disinfect the school. School officials say no students or staff have any connection to coronavirus, but they're taking the step as a precaution. The district says in a Facebook post, quote, we will be using our Clorox 360 machine to help ionize the virus. This cleaning agent has been shown to be effective on coronavirus as well as other viruses and bacteria. The custodial staff will begin this process as soon as the students and staff leave at noon on Thursday, March 12th. Please continue to practice washing hands and staying home when you're sick so that we can help contain the spread of any and all illnesses. And Watersmead Township School officials in the UP up Route 45 from Land O'Lakes say that their school will be closed today and Friday to allow them to sanitize the building due to illness. They have not said anything about coronavirus, and right now the Michigan Department of Health only confirms two cases in that state, both in the Lower Peninsula. But nonetheless, they are closed Thursday and Friday, and all extracurricular activities are also canceled. The University of Wisconsin Stevens Point and UW-Madison have joined the list of colleges and universities temporarily ending face-to-face -face lessons. School officials say starting next week after spring break, classes will take place online or through alternative main means. Both schools describe the measure as proactive and preventative, adding right now there are no suspected cases on campus. And as concerns grow surrounding COVID-19, the Honor Flight Network's Board of Directors is closely monitoring rules and regulations administered by health authorities. On Tuesday night, the board held an emergency meeting to discuss the current state of the spreading pandemic and the potentially high risk of infection. It's been decided that the never forgotten Honor Flight on April 20th has been postponed. This decision also applies to flights across the country that were scheduled for April. Usually, veterans are still allowed to attend the honor flight, even if they have pre-existing illnesses. Jim Campbell, co-founder of the Never Forgotten Honor Flight, says the demographic most affected by this specific virus of the exact, is the exact same age range of the veterans who plan to attend the trips. Even though most of them are healthy and the virus is getting a bad cold or flu, those veterans that are not healthy are very susceptible to serious illness and potentially death. Campbell says that usually they allow veterans with pre-existing illnesses to still make the trip. As long as the veteran's doctor approves, they have medical staff on each flight to take care of anyone who needs attention. The honor flight will be rescheduled for September 7th, and all participants will be contacted this week via written communication and a phone call. And the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, better known as Will, filed a petition on Wednesday over the voter regis registrations debate. Will sued the Wisconsin Elections Commission on behalf of three voters, claiming the state violated a legal requirement to remove outdated voter registration from the voter rolls. 
A county judge ordered the commission to comply and the Court of Appeals overturned that order. Now, Will hopes the Supreme Court will choose to weigh in on the matter. If Will wins their case, over 200,000 people registered in Wisconsin but who have not recently voted in Wisconsin will have their voter registration invalidated. Waukesha authorities are investigating after four people were stabbed in a home. Two of those victims died and two survived the stabbing. Police say the investigation began with a domestic disturbance call. When authorities arrived at the scene, they found the victims and the suspect who is now in police custody. Police have not given a motive for the stabbings, but have released the names of the victims. 34-year-old Dominique Roth and 26-year-old Deidre Papanda both died in the stabbings, while 36-year-old Desiree Papanda and 62-year-old Ghislaine Papanda were transported to the hospital with injuries. That investigation is ongoing. In December, Colton True was convicted in the deaths of four people that involved Girl Scouts in Chippewa Falls. On Wednesday, True learned that he will be facing 54 years in prison, followed by 45 years of extended supervision. That's a total sentence of 99 years. During the sentencing hearing, True's defense team also brought up the name John Stender repeatedly. True's lawyer says charges against Stender are expected to be filed before the end of the week. He was the passenger in the vehicle at the time of the crash. Movie mogul Harvey Weinstein was sentenced to 23 years in prison. This tops our news making national headlines this morning. The sentencing was handed down on Wednesday in a New York City courtroom. A jury convicted Weinstein last month of rape and sexual assault. Weinstein did not testify during the trial, but did address the court Wednesday. The 67-year-old implied he was a victim of the Me Too movement, saying, quote, I'm worried about this country. Lots of men like myself are the latest examples. I wasn't about power. I was about making great movies. He has repeatedly maintained his innocence, denying he ever engaged in non-consensual non sex with anyone. Seattle Public Schools will close for a minimum of two weeks starting Thursday, according to an email sent to school administrators on Wednesday. The district later confirmed the news in a press release, and the email said the decision was made after conferring with county and school officials. It instructs principals to treat the closure as if they are going on spring break and list some guidance for going forward. According to the Seattle Times, Seattle Public Schools educates over 52,000 students. In California's Los Angeles County reported its first coronavirus-related death on Wednesday. The victim was identified as a woman in her 60s. She did not live in the county, but was visiting friends. Health officials say the woman had an extensive recent travel history, including a long layover in South Korea, along with underlying health conditions. L.A. County also reported six additional positive cases for coronavirus, bringing the total number of cases to 27. Officials say one of the new cases is believed to be the county's second case of infection from community spread, and that person is in the hospital. And the World Health Organization has declared the coronavirus as a global pandemic, and the United States is taking drastic measures to keep it from spreading. Tracy Potts reports from Washington with what you need to know. My fellow Americans, Tonight, to keep the coronavirus from spreading, President Trump canceled his trip to Nevada and Colorado and announced that the U.S. is shutting down all travel, people and cargo from Europe except the U.K. These restrictions will be adjusted subject to conditions on the ground. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings. He'll defer tax payments and ask Congress to cut payroll taxes and add $50 billion for small business loans. Today, a House vote on measures Democrats call family-focused, paid sick leave, free testing, unemployment insurance, and food assistance. Seniors are going to be hungry. Children are going to be hungry. That's what we're trying to take care of. Government health experts say this is just the beginning. Is the worst yet to come, Dr. Fauci? Yes, it is. We are on the front lines. In California, nurses complain hospitals are not ready for an influx of patients. We have a finite number of ICU beds and a finite number of ventilators, and there's only so much we can do. 
More than 100 colleges are sending students home for an extended spring break. What are you taking with you? <laughs> Everything. Everything. Holding classes online. And heating advice to avoid large crowds, a first in the sports world. March Madness with no fans. And the NBA is suspending the rest of the season after a Utah Jazz player tested positive. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. That's now 642 and still to come this morning in sports. The high school girls state basketball tournament is expected to start tonight as planned despite coronavirus concerns. We'll have the details. Plus, we'll have more on what teams are facing off in girls basketball starting tonight. We've got those stories and Devin's full forecast in just two minutes. Back by popular demand at Slumberland. Look at what $10 per month will get you. A Sealy luxury firm queen mattress with this modern upholster base, $10 a month. Pay no interest for five years when you spend $5.99 or more. Look at what $10 will get you at Slumberland. Quality Homes of Tomahawk is now featuring modular homes by Wisconsin Homes. Also selling new and used single and sectional manufactured homes at discount prices. I'm so glad you and Jack Jack are home. His birthday was supposed to be today, right, Mom? That's right. He wanted to meet me eight weeks early. <laughs> he sure gave us a scare, didn't he? Yeah, but he's so perfect. It's just you and me, Jack Jack. <laughs> Can I take him to show and tell? Sure. We'll see. <laughs> Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Yeah. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Right now, you can get $1,500 customer cash on a new 2020 Toyota Tacoma or get $2,750 customer cash on a new 2020 Toyota Tundra. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. When the owners of Kelk Land Improvement and Kelk Septic Service of Woodruff want the forecast for the Northwoods, they go to WJFW.com and check their hometown weather. Available 24-7 at WJFW.com. The latest weather updates. Weather Watch 12. Weather from where you live. Back by popular demand at Slumberland. Look at what $10 per month will get you. A Sealy luxury firm queen mattress with this modern upholster base, $10 a month. Pay no interest for five years when you spend $5.99 or more. Look at what $10 will get you at Slumberland. And welcome back. We're seeing some clouds across the region this morning, including in parts of Eagle River. You can see we're starting to see the light starting to get through the sky a little bit, so the sun will soon be coming up over the next few hours across parts of the Northwoods. Temperatures this morning, not terrible. We're in the middle 30s, which is very nice. And we're actually close to our average high for this time of the year. It's going to get a little warmer than that today already 35 degrees in Merrill. Now, the, the visibilities are down a little bit too. Here's kind of where some of those visibilities are right now. Three miles in Tomahawk, five miles in Merrill. Here's Anago, half a mile though. So, so visibility levels are down a little bit as some patchy fog is developing across parts of the Northwoods. The good news though, temperatures are not terrible. We're gonna be at 42 coming up for today. Cooling off to the lower 30s for Friday and Saturday with middle 30s Sunday, then back into the lower 40s on Monday, then kind of up and down a little bit from Monday through Wednesday. So here's our latest look with the advisories. We have gale warnings up for parts of Lake Superior. And why is that in effect? The winds are going to be picking up tonight into tomorrow, making waves along Lake Superior, which is not frozen much at all. It was around 7 to 12 feet surf possible. There's going to be a little on the interesting side. We are seeing some returns of rain moving from west to east right now, a little bit more of a northeasterly direction. Not No reports yet, but that's going to be changing pretty quick of precipitation heading to ground with rain. A little bit of snowflakes mixing in until temperatures get a little bit more into the 40s. But it's all moving from moving Moving up to the northeast as low pressure is going to be tracking to the north and east. Let's plot that for you on the map now. And this low pressure center right here will be tracking to the north and east. And it will intensify as it moves to the north and east too, which will make things a little on the interesting side with regards to the wind. Here's future cast, which plays this out pretty good. The rain will be moving through throughout the day. It will intensify from time to time. Then as it moves on to the north and east, these black lines, the isobars here, ships the wind out of the west northwest, giving us a good amount of gusty winds, two up to 30 miles per hour at times. The good news is very little cloud cover, so the, so the sun will be out for most of the day on Friday, so it's not going to be that bad. Winds will be calming down by Friday evening before
four more clouds move in with a system passing off to our south on Saturday. Again, here are those wind gusts getting up to 30 miles per hour at times up, up to even 35 miles per hour. So again, not a really interesting situation there. 42 degrees today, morning fog and rain lightly winds out of the southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Dropping to 23 degrees tonight, rain and snow early changing to most kind of skies with more patchy fog late. Winds out of the west at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here is the Northwoods Furniture 7 day forecast Friday through Sunday looking good with highs in the low to mid 30s. Next chances for rain will be on Monday and Wednesday. Marissa and Angela. Thanks so much, Devin. Well, the NBA suspended their season last night, but things seem rather normal, at least in high school sports here in northern Wisconsin as of now. That's right. The high school state basketball tournament is expected to start tonight as planned, though the WIAA says they've been looking into all factors leading up to the games. The WIAA released a statement yesterday explaining how the girls' state tournament at the Rush Center in Green Bay will be handled. The statement reads, the WIAA is continuously monitoring the public health developments regarding the coronavirus. At this time, we have discussed options for continuing to conduct the WIAA basketball state tournaments. The staff at the Rush Center has been diligently working to ensure that the 2020 WIAA girls basketball state tournament can be conducted in a safe environment. And this information is important for the two Northern Wisconsin girls teams playing in the state tournament. In Division 4, the 21-4 Cranton Cardinals face 24-1 Aquinas at 635 tonight. Down in Division 5, Newman Catholic will take on undefeated Black Hawk on Friday morning. And on to boys sectionals now. In Division 5, Leona Wabino will face Wasaki in Elko. Mosini has Hortonville, and both games will be at 7 p.m. tonight. As of now, everything is still scheduled to go on, but we, of course, will keep you updated if anything changes. But first, coming up, we'll have the details on one local library that was recognized as one of the best in the nation. But first, Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe for a no-roll pie crust. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers and Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio. This weekend, some of you might be celebrating what is known as Pi Day. For all you math lovers, it's the celebration of the symbol pi, which represents in simple terms the ratio of the circumference of a circle in relation to its diameter, which is 3.14, hence why we celebrate it on March 14th. For the rest of us, it's a great excuse to enjoy a good piece of pie. For those of us who still wrestle with making a good pie crust from scratch, I want to share a no-roll version that tastes like buttery shortbread. To make it, we start by combining some flour, sugar, and a bit of salt in a 9-inch pie plate. Then, in a measuring cup, we whisk together some vegetable oil and milk to pour over our flour mixture. Now, using a fork, we mix this together until a soft dough forms, which takes no time. All that's left to do is form it into our pie shell. We can do this by using our fingertips to flute the edges to give it a homemade look. Now you can either bake it until it's golden and fill it with a no-bake filling, like we've done with this chocolate pie, or just fill it and bake it according to your recipe. Either way, to get the recipe for our no roll pie crust, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a no roll easy way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. For the most up-to-the-minute info on your school closings, visit WJFW.com on your computer, your tablet, or your phone. WJFW School Closings, sponsored by Marcel's Fireplace and Stoves and Builders Service Incorporated. Furniture and Appliance Mart is celebrating all week with the ultimate sale. We're having a party and you're invited. Get our ultimate discounts on absolutely everything in the store. You could save up to 55% off furniture, mattresses, and top brand appliance door busters. Then create the room of your dreams with the ultimate combination of huge bonus discounts and interest-free financing. Take an additional 10% off our sale prices at checkout and three years no interest on furniture. Come celebrate ultimate savings only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Welcome to Land O'Lakes, Serenity at the top of Wisconsin. 
Stay with us at the Gateway Lodge in Land Lakes. Relax in our indoor pool, delicious dinners, and the coziest lounge in town. Come back to tradition at the historical Gateway Lodge. Hi, I'm Tammy from Arpin, and I came to see Dr. Cher with severe lower back pain and nerve pain, and I was also unable to walk or stand without any help. Many of my appointments, I needed to use a walker, and I was having a hard time even getting to his appointments riding in a vehicle. He was able to um, get me moving again, doing the things I love to do. I was able to get rid of my walker. I was able to ride in a vehicle longer than an hour. I am forever grateful to him and his wonderful staff. Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Cost Cutters Family Hair Salon. You're watching News Watch 12 today with Marissa Silvas, Angela Kim, and Tyler Moore. Welcome back. A local library has been recognized as one of the best in the nation. And that's after the Library Journal presented it with star library status for the year of 2019. The Denver Library in Three Lakes went through a nearly $2 million renovation last year. Director Erica Brewster says that upgrade helped bring attention to the new and improved building. It's a cozy library. It's a welcoming library. It has the comfortable Northwoods feel. And I think those are factors that make it so people do come in and they do use our library and the things that they appreciate happen to be things that um, rank us highly in the national standings. The Denver Library was among 260 others across the country to get the recognition. The rankings look at library attendance, programming, computer use and more. Brewster says that she is thrilled to have received the honor. To see that some of these fundamentals are, you know, that we managed to reach that bar is a, a pretty gratifying experience. Um, and I, I hope that in future years we can set those as benchmarks to continue to achieve. The Denver Library hosts multiple programs every week. And for more information on these programs or the 2019 library rankings, you can visit our website at WJFW.com. But what cool national recognition to get up in our area and also just reading a book and going to the library doesn't sound too bad today. Yeah, especially with some rain on the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with some rain on the way, definitely a good day to stay inside too. And speaking of fog today, we were talking about patchy fog today too. That's our trivia question for today. True or false, a dense fog advisory is issued when visibilities are reduced to one mile for for two or more hours. The answer when we come back. When you're injured in an auto accident, you may have only one opportunity to take back what's been taken away from you. Tell them you mean business. Call 800 800 5678. QP and Abraham, right now. This week on the People's Court. You're saying the dog was not on a leash. She hit him and broke his neck. He didn't survive. I mean, this is a horrible situation. It's horrible that this happened. Get your Newswatch 12 trail report every week on Newswatch 12 at 10, Thursday and Friday nights. And Newswatch 12 today, Friday mornings. The Newswatch 12 trail report is brought to you by these Northern Wisconsin and UP ski dealers. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Did they do it again? Yes, they did. Cheese and caramel. It's all gone.
Find your automotive and garage essentials at Menards. Clean up tough messes, wet or dry, with this 10-gallon stainless steel shop vac. With a 5.5 peak horsepower motor, just $79.99. Brighten your workshop with this 5,000 lumen LED shop light from Smart Electrician. It can be connected to up to 17 units, just $17.99 each. During Menards, think Spring Sale. Save big money at Menards. Discover what's trending where you live on Up North at 4 with Adriana Michelle and Jeff Weller. Live guests with local stories about what it means to live, work, and play Up North. Come and join us. QP and Abraham doesn't just talk about getting maximum cash for their clients. They've collected over a billion dollars for them. All the firm voted best. QP and Abraham. 800-800-5678. Right now. Hi, I'm Dana Gray of Miracle Air in Wausau. Are you having a difficult time hearing your favorite entertainment and news programs? If so, give me a call for your complimentary hearing evaluation. And before we leave you this morning, a special birthday shout out to our Monaco popcorn winner, Olga Cuck from Wausau. Happy birthday, Olga, and congratulations. You win a half gallon refillable bucket of gourmet popcorn from Monaco popcorn. And to enter that special summon or co-worker in Newswatch 12's birthday club, just head over to WJFW.com at least two weeks before their special day. You can enter their name and upload a photo for us to air, and you can also send us a photo and information to the station. Attention Northwood's birthday club, 3217 County Road G in Rhinelander. Alrighty, your, your trivia question for today. True or false, a dense fog advisory is issued when visibilities are reduced to one mile for two or more hours. What do you think? I think it's A, it's true. It is true. <laughs> and I think Angela has an inside information, but uh, but I'll be just I'll be different. I'll say false. You were wise too. Angela tried to get me to break during the break <laughs> and it didn't work. The advisory is issued when visibilities are reduced for a quarter mile for two or more hours. So a little bit of a trick question there for you today. For your trivia, dense fog advisory is issued for a quarter mile for two or more hours. We do have some fog out there this morning, but also some rain heading in our direction. That's going to be kind of the general theme. Of course, plenty of clouds to go around too. But otherwise, it'll be a good day to stay inside. And as we mentioned earlier, maybe go, maybe read a book too. With 42 degrees, some morning fog and rain likely in a southeast breeze at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Over the next few days, again, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 30s for your temperatures with a mixture of clouds and sun. Next chances for rain will be Monday in winter. Wednesday, so not too bad for a seven day coming up. Sure. Yeah, despite the rain this morning, uh, still pretty mild temperatures yeah, out pretty there. Pretty mild. Alrighty. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. We hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Weather Watch 12. Weather from where you live. Good morning. Breaking news, tipping point. President Trump addresses the nation on the coronavirus pandemic using just his second Oval Office speech to announce the U.S. will suspend most travel from Europe. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront a foreign virus in modern history. A new surge in U.S. cases coast to coast, losses on Wall Street accelerating, an entire country on edge. This morning, Vice President Mike Pence joins us for a live interview. Mass cancellations. And you see the teams heading back to the locker room. The NBA suspends its season after a player tests positive just moments before a game. It's something out of a movie, and you just don't expect it to happen in real life. March Madness tournament still on, but without crowds.